Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvania toy collector himself. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today is throwback week. And we are throwing back to Transformers, War for Cybertron. Thundercracker. And this guy originally premiered in the video game. And he had a sick looking jet mode. And I'm just so glad to have a War for Cybertron Thundercracker in my collection. He does transform. He doesn't have any rolling wheels. And the barrels of the gun can turn around like he's rapid firing at some Autobots, being like, pew, pew, bang, bang, at some Autobots. That's all there is to say for jet mode. Really nice paint, really nice sculpting. I dig it. So let's get down to transformation. We're going to disconnect Thundercracker's guns. Then we're going to transform him. Disconnect the leg sections. Cordy in the chest up. Flip around the head. There is a lot of steps with this figure because it is an old school figure. And we're going to disconnect the arms from the nose cone section. Sorry if I got confused and my words came out gargly. And there we got Thundercracker in his robot mode. And this is not a bad looking Thundercracker. If I do say so myself. But yeah, we can give him his guns. Guns, too. I'll show that off. But before I put the guns on his arms, we're going to sh show off articulation. Arms on a full 360 and a hinge, which is really nice. Full wrist articulation. Nice. Bend at the knee. Nice. Kicks out that far. Kicks back that far. Some really good articulation for this old school figure, huh? I'm just so glad to finally review him on my toy review channel. But now we're going to give him his big, big double barrel blaster. And with these figures, their weapons combine to form a double blaster. For twice the rapid fire shots. So Thundercracker can go pew pew bang 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 real fast, which is nice. And that's all there is to say for the combined mode weapon. Let's give him his null rays. Shall we? Let's connect the first null ray into his arm like so. Second verse, just like the first. Connect in the null ray. And there we got Thundercracker in his robot mode with his null rays. Sorry if I got confused for a second. My head is really getting confused. But here is a comparison with War for Cybertron Siege. Thundercracker. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. Is a Transformers War for Cybertron Thundercracker worth adding to your Transformers collection? Yes, if you can find him for under 20 bucks, he is worth picking up. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.